burning question of if longtime President Robert Mugabe is still in power or not. Yesterday, Mugabe gave a long, rambling, live television address where he refused to say if he planned on stepping down. Reportedly, a resignation letter has been drafted, but Mugabe is refusing at this point to send it to the Speaker of the Parliament. Mugabe has ruled the nation for 37 years, ever since independence from Britain. The army detained Mugabe last week, have held him under house arrest in a swift and violent fr violence-free takeover. Mugabe so far seems to be insisting he will still be in power come the upcoming political congress in a few weeks, but there is now a growing groundswell publicly of support for the vice president he ousted less than two years ago. All right, joining me now for the latest updates on this rapidly developing story is our senior international affairs correspondent, Owen Alterman. Owen, oh, so it's this ousted president, vice president, who seems at some point perhaps best poised to take over as president, but what kind of transition, what kind of confusion is still out there right now? Well, Jeff, first of all, there's confusion about whether the vice president was actually ever ousted. Some saying that he never actually got the person who was supposed to write him the letter, uh, forcing him to resign, never actually wrote him the letter, so he's still constitutionally the vice president. As for next steps in this process, the next step seems clearly to be impeachment, is headed to the parliament. As we speak, members of the ruling party, their parliamentarians, are gathering to plot out the time, time frame for impeachment. It looks like it will be as fast-tracked as possible. Some experts saying it can be done in as little as a day, and one would think that the military, the Chinese, the party, everyone involved would want to see this happen as quickly as possible. Possible and avoid a situation where there are hundreds of thousands of people in the streets, protests expected tomorrow, and already a strike at the main university. I mean, so far, the, the, the military takeover has been largely violent free, but now there's there's going to be massive protests. Are there is there is there fear now? Is there is there fear now of a military violence and confrontation on the streets? Not immediately. Again, I think the game plan is to have this impeachment be done, be done quickly, so that at that point there would be nothing essentially to protest and the military would have more legitimacy to either keep Mugabe under house arrest or take what other steps are necessary to keep him away from that office that would no longer be his, and then to have a seamless, smooth transition to install Emerson Nangangwa as president. Of course, as we've seen over the last 24 hours, things don't always go according to plan.